Jamia Hafsa School is in the heart of the capital, situated right next to the famous Lal Masjid or Red Mosque, and just streets away from the centre of Pakistani government, international embassies and the United Nations. They start young at Pakistan's largest girls' madrasa. In the most junior classes, children as young as four begin their religious instruction. None of the girls normally cover their faces inside. But as our camera ventures into the halls, students are told to cover up. There's no access to computers, but these students are learning the names for basic technology in English. Teachers make sure they keep themselves obscured. With more than 4,000 students, some classrooms are packed full. There are a number of assistants, but the head teacher sits outside. The teacher for this class of older girls is in fact a male, but he's not allowed to enter the same room as them. He actually comes up a separate entrance into the school and transmits or broadcasts his classes via a hi-fi system. And he's seated here behind the curtain. Men linger elsewhere on the fringes of the school. In reception, family members can deliver supplies for their daughters and sisters through a revolving door. The girls don't get out much, except when they decide it's time for what they describe as agitation. Last week, they appointed themselves vice and virtue police and armed with sticks, kidnapped a woman from her home who they said was a brothel owner. They called a press conference and forced her to make a public confession, which she withdrew when she and her daughters were released. They kidnapped the police officers who came to arrest their teachers. All were released unharmed. At the same time, male students from their brother madrasa have begun attacking video shops in the capital. Some Pakistani commentators are talking about the Talibanization of, uh, of Pakistan. Is that what's going on here? Uh, well, I would say about this that, uh, you know, that uh, Rudy Gilani uh, of the New York mayor, he closed down all these brothels. That was also Talibanization. You never said that. Nobody said that. Mr. Khazi actually hasn't much in common with Rudy Giuliani. After the post-9-11 invasion of Afghanistan, he was on the streets of Islamabad declaring jihad. We, we are saying that we will, if, if they are coming here, we will make this place the graveyard of American army. Now his followers at the girls' madrasa are challenging forces closer to home, namely the government of Pervez Musharraf. Our government, poor thing, is like a passenger train that keeps breaking down. It's unable to take care of the people. The prices of basic goods are going up and the government doesn't care. When a poor man's daughter is married, he may as well give her a donkey cart as a car. That way she won't need to buy petrol. They say they chose a more radical path when their madrasa was raided in the wake of the 7-7 bombings. The girls have now occupied a public library next to their madrasa. They've made some changes, like erasing pictures deemed un-Islamic. They say they've no plans to leave, although the president would like them to. He's asked them nicely, or at least he's asked religious leaders on TV to ask them nicely. Speak to the women. Ask them what are they doing. They are imposing their views on others. They are trying to spread their ideas across Pakistan. It will not happen. You will harm Pakistan. You will harm yourselves. There will be no results. Fine words, but it's not playing well for President Musharraf. Five years after he promised a crackdown on madrasas, he's unable to swat away jihadi playtime in his own neighborhood. I think it's very obvious it's that the government doesn't have the will and clearly not even the intent to take action against the jihadi madrasas. This happened in the federal capital. Now think of all those jihadi madrasas out there where you don't see this visible challenge being posed to the government's writ and yet 
no action whatsoever. For now, the schoolgirl army is making the most of its victories and vowing to continue its campaign.